What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Pisces. This can resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Mid, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general oracle card for sign of Pisces for May of 2022. Let me plug my charger in real quick and then we'll get started. I hope everybody is doing well. I do, I do, I do, do. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,320 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, it's high appreciate 05. The link's in the search box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. If you donate through my PayPal, it's um, very private, confidential. I do not um, publicly display your name if you choose to donate. Um, through my PayPal. Sorry, that was my daughter. Okay, so um, I heard Pisces next, so I'm doing Pisces, and then I received several downloads, so I'm going to deliver them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and offload them, and then we'll get started. Okay, so the channelings I received was um, uh, a fight over a house is about to become very significant for a Pisces soon. That was the first one. So a, a fight over a home um, is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. So it could be you fighting over a home or somebody you're connected to fighting over a home. But some kind of fight over a home, um, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to, is about to become very significant. For some, I feel it could be you fighting over this home or you could just be on the sidelines watching this person um, or people or group or what have you fight over this home. However, that applies in one's life, Pisces. Um, the second one I heard, um, someone is about to betray you. That was the second one. Someone's about to betray you. I feel that's you, Pisces, if that particular message applies for you. Um, the third one I heard, someone is about to defend you behind your back. Um, that was the third one. So some kind of fight over a home, whether it's you fighting for this home or someone you're connected to. Someone's about to betray you, I feel, if that message applies for you. And someone's about to defend you behind your back. So, three completely different messages. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates um, in your own life. However, that applies in one's life. Um, Pisces. Now, obviously, the person that, that is about to betray you, I don't think is the same one that's about to defend you behind your back. I'll tell you that. Um, whoever you are and how this applies, um, obviously. Um, I think it's two completely different people, two completely different messages, um, however that applies. But the person that's about to defend you behind your back, I just want to say that's a very, very loyal person. Spirit messages you have for sign of Pisces. That's a very loyal person because if somebody defends you behind your back, then you know if they do it behind your back, you know that they're saying what they really feel. Um, they're speaking, they truly are speaking the truth if they're defending you behind your back. Um, and that's the truth for real, for real. So whoever that person is, I feel um, they really are speaking their real truth there and they're speaking the truth and they're being very honest. Um, and I've Deal for whoever that's for. Also, they're probably loyal to you or they just, they truly mean it. Um, and that's what I'm feeling. How would that applies? Oh my goodness. Maybe you are emotional about a situation or someone you're connected to is emotional about a situation or you're dealing with someone with addictions or um, you have addictions because when this happens in a reading, it can signify emotional instability and in either you or somebody you're connected to or you having addictions or someone you're connected to having addictions, how about that applies, if it does apply um, in your life. Spirit messages you have aside advices.
A particular tattoo is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. Some a tattoo on them, some a tattoo on someone else. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A particular tattoo is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. So for some of you guys, it's a tattoo on you, on your body. It sounds like you're about to get spirit messages you have signed Pisces. For some, it is a tattoo. It sounds like somebody else is about to get on their body. But it's about to become significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so however that applies in your life, for some, I feel you're getting the tattoo. Some, I feel someone else is about to get the tattoo. Um, however that applies. Spirit messages you have signed Pisces. I'm feeling maybe one of you guys is stubborn about a situation or someone you're connected to is stubborn about a situation because it's taken me forever to get these cards out. I mean, forever. So you could be stubborn about a situation or someone you're connected to could be stubborn about a situation, but it sure is taking me forever to get these cards out. I'm telling you that. However that applies. Spirit messages you have signed of Pisces. It could be that house situation possibly for some. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking, September. Spirit messages you have for sign of Pisces. Someone is about to gain their confidence back in a very, very, very huge way very soon. It's already started to come. It's about to come in a huge way. Know this. Someone connected to you. Okay. So I heard someone connected to you. If this particular message applies to you, for you, Pisces. Someone connected to you is about to, um, I heard they've already started gaining their confidence back, but it sounds like it's about to start really, really coming um, quickly. Um, so, um, they've already started gaining it back, but it sounds like it's about to come full circle and really come full force. Um, whoever this person is that is connected to you, it doesn't sound like from a place of egotistical type behavior. Confirmation from my fat boy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Um, it doesn't sound like from a place of egotistical type behavior. It sounds like they had lost their, um, confidence in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. And they've been, it sounds like they've been doing self-healing, growing, and sh maybe shadow work for, um, possibly for some of these people. And been working on themselves to gain it back. Um, and it sounds like it's been coming, but it's about to, I heard it about to come full force soon. So it sounds like it's about to come full circle and really, really come, um, come to light. Um, however that resonates. Is someone connected to you? However that applies in one's life basis. I feel it could be masculine or feminine. I didn't hear masculine or feminine for that person um, connected to you with the confidence. Um, you have to plug that person in your own life, how they resonate, if they do resonate. Zero messages you have, sign of Pisces. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Spirit messages you have, sign of Pisces. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Uh, for some, you could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign because uh, you have water sign energy and fire sign energy in your inner animal spirit cards this round. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Haver, Jupiter charts. If you are, um, water sign energy like you, Pisces, and fire sign energy. Also, I'd like to encourage everybody to check out their um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter chart signs. And you're welcome to cross lots the signs if you would like. Spirit messages you have signed by Pisces. Strength. Spirit messages you have signed by Pisces.
Patience. Number 28, 44, 2, or 18 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 28, 44, 2, or 18, it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 28, 44, 2, or 18. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. A deep cleaning of a home really needs to be done. Okay, I heard a deep cleaning of a home really needs to be done. And cl clearing out years of old things. And clearing out years of old things. So a deep cleaning really needs to be done in a home. It could be your home or somebody you're connected to his home. Um, and years of clear cleaning um, years or clearing out old things. So how that applies in your life, it could be your home or somebody you're connected to's home. I feel this is home energy here, like physical home energy, whether it's your home or somebody you're connected to's home. But some kind of, somebody's home, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to, has years of old things in it. Um, so however that applies. It could be, um, it could be that home that either you're fighting over or somebody you're connected to is fighting over, possibly. For some, some it may not be. For some, it could be your home. Um, and um, and a home needs a deep cleaning. So your home or somebody you're connected to is home. But I feel this is physical home energy here, uh, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to is home. Clearing out the clutter, physically clearing out deep cleaning or clearing out old things, however that resonates. And for one Pisces, this is people in your life. You know who they are. Okay, I heard him. For one Pisces, this is people in your life. You know who they are. So for one of you guys, this is physical home aspect energy, I'm feeling. Whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to is home. For one of you guys, it is actually people in your life that you have allowed, free willingly allowed in your own life. So in this aspect, it is actually, it's energy, it's people, it's energy that you're allowing, free willingly allowing in your life. Um, I'm thinking in your personal life, um, whoever this is applying for. Um, in this aspect, clearing out the clutter is the negative energy of negative uh, energetic people you are free willingly allowing around you. Um, I'm feeling in your personal life. So clearing out the energetic clutter in your personal life is what I'm feeling. I heard you know who they are. You know who these people are that you're free, free willingly hanging around or allowing in your life. Or for some, you could allow them to live in your home. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. A significant court hearing is very significant for a particular Pisces coming soon. For some, you are working on this case. For some, you are part of this case. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. A significant court hearing is um, significant soon for a particular Pisces. So for some of you guys, I heard you were actually working on this court hearing. So I feel you work in the legal sector and you are working on this case. For some, you are a part of this case. So whether you're the plaintiff, plaintiff or the defendant, um, you are in the case. You plug yourself in where you fit, however that resonates. Um, I feel in the reclaim your power in this aspect is the person or a person that is the plaintiff or defendant for the upcoming court situation. Um, and for the ones working in the legal sector on this case, um, I'm, obviously you want to win it. So you plug it in how it resonates. Reclaim your power, trying to win the case, or um, reclaim your power if you're the plaintiff or defendant in said case. That's what I'm feeling. For some, you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign, possibly in this court case or court cases, whether you're working in it or you are a plaintiff or defendant in it. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hamer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in, how it resonates.
For a particular Pisces, a Libra has really got them in a world of shit. Really, really, really has. For some, a Scorpio. It is very important to claim your power back from this person. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Dear Lord, have mercy. Um, legal issues here. Okay, I heard legal issues here. Dear Lord, have mercy. So for some of you guys, you're in legal issues, it sounds like. You're in legal issues. Legal issues heavy in here. For some, it sounds like a Scorpio got you into these legal issues. For some, a Libra did. Um, or you're taking the Scorpio or Libra to court. Um, but somehow, you are, I feel you're either the plaintiff or defendant against a um, Scorpio or Libra. Um, I heard that masculine or feminine, Scorpio or Libra. Uh, they could have Scorpio or Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, him, and Jupiter charts. However, that resonates and applies in one's life, Pisces. But I heard they have gotten you in a world of shit. So something has happened. It sounds like upcoming court battles, upcoming court energy. Um, I heard it's important to reclaim your power back against this person or people. For some, you could be in one court case. For some, two plus court cases. For some, dealing with a Libra. For some, dealing with Scorpio. For some, dealing with both. But you have to reclaim your power. Um, a heavy court battle energy, it sounds like upcoming in the universe. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Detour energy heavy here soon. You thought you thought your plans were going to go one way, personal plans, but they are about to go a completely different way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. If this resonates for you as some kind of personal plan energy, so it, this is not workspace energy. I heard specifically personal plans. So it's some kind of personal plans. It sounds like upcoming in the universe that you have been making or is about to make. Um, probably that resonates. But I heard um, you think they were um, they're going to go one way, but they're some kind of detour energy, and it sounds like they're about to go a completely different way. I don't know if it's a physical detour, like in the universe, like direction detour or route detour, like if you're traveling, or some kind of metaphorical de detour where um, you want to do something, you have this plan, 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 but series of chain events detour you to where you cannot do it. However, that resonates in one's life, but it's some kind of personal plan. Energy is about to give you, I feel it's about to give you muddled, unclear thinking because um, you had in your head very specifically either in your head or on paper, specifically what you were going to do. I feel you had it very strategically planned out, very nicely planned, but some kind of detour energy, whether it's physical detour with traveling or metaphor, metaphorical detour energy to where you don't even get to do it before it happens kind of thing. Um, but I think it's going to leave you very um, with muddled, unclear thinking because of some kind of detour S type energy. A particular Pisces is about to learn of a masculine energy that has fathered many, 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 many children in the, in the universe. It is about to piss them off in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge way. This Pisces is about to speak on a very serious situation of the past. They are about to be very pissed. Oof, Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. Oof. Um, so if this resonates for you, Pisces, I feel you can be masculine or feminine, only you know your story, not anybody else. But some kind of, and let me tell you, this masculine energy that has been fathering a bunch of children in the universe, he's been coming up. I did a specific reading on him um, recently, and he's been coming up in the May of 2022 Oracle readings. Whoever he is, um, he is very significant in the universe, I feel, to a lot of you guys. 
and I'm serious. Um, I feel he might be in the public eye. And I'm serious about that. Whoever this person is and how they apply to you. Um, but he has basically knocked up a ton of people in the universe. Um, a ton of people. Um, it sounds like at one time, or it sounds like at one time, um, with current children out in the universe and people pregnant in utero, um, everybody's about to find out about everybody. It's about to become a huge ass hot mess, basically. Um, a little down and dirty of that. It's really terrible. It's terrible. But it sounds like you are connected to this person. If this message applies to you, you are connected to them or you should be connected to them or you know them or something like that. Um, how that applies. But I heard you're about to find out about this masculine energy and all these children he's fathered or is about to father, whether they're in utero or they're already, the children are out, already out in the universe. I heard it's about to piss you off in a huge way. A huge, huge, huge way. It's about to make you very angry. Um, and this is a, terrible situation it really is i mean lord um it's terrible and i heard it's gonna cause you when you find this out it's gonna piss you off so bad it's gonna cause you to speak on a very serious situation in the past so i think you finding out about this masculine energy basically being the hoe um i hate to say it like that but it's the truth being a hoe out in the community and world and i mean how does he afford all these kids i'm just saying how the crap does he afford them unless he's super rich or something i don't know um, but I heard it's going to cause you to speak out on a very serious situation in the past. So I think it's going to give you muddled, unclear thinking once you find out about this information on this masculine energy, ho s type energy, um, is what I'm feeling. Whoever you are and however the supplies, I feel you'd be masculine or feminine. You plug it in, how it resonates. September. And that could be the reclaim your power energy too. You're about to reclaim your power back from this masculine energy. Maybe he's been holding something over your head or blackmailing you or um, or asking you not to speak on a certain situation or something of that nature. But you're about to learn. It sounds like you're about to learn a lot more of this situation that you thought you were going to. And wow. September. Series of chain events are currently being created in the in the universe in one particular Pisces workspace energy. By September of 2022, things are about to really, really, really start running very, 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 very smoothly. We'll be running very, very, very smoothly before that, but you will be surprised. You are integral integral game changer in this. You know you are. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, that's a good one. Um, I mean, we're in May now. So, May, June, July, August, September. That's four months away. I heard they're going to be running way, way, way more smoothly before September of 2022. But, I mean, it sounds like by in four months, you're really going to, like, seriously, drastically see the changes. Like, it sounds like night and day energy. I didn't hear night and day energy. That's what I'm feeling. I heard you're going to see the results way, way, way before then. But, um but it sounds like by four months time, September S type energy uh, of 2022, you really, really, really will see them. I heard you're an integral game changer in this um, and you know you are. So I feel you might be a position of authority, whoever you are, Pisces. I feel, I feel you might be a position of authority because you are an integral game changer in making these changes in your workspace, whoever you are. Um, I feel you could be a manager, boss, CEO, supervisor, S-type energy. Um, or you have your input, your verbal input into the workspace matters. Um, and people really listen to you and they look up to what you say about um, organization or, um, or situations or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's what I'm feeling. I heard you're going to see the changes way before September of 2022, but it sounds like by September 2022, you really will see them. But it sounds like changes are already being made. It's, I heard a series of chain events are being created now in the universe to make these changes. So it's already happening now. 
in May of 2022, um, which it, it sounds like is going to trickle down in a positive effect here. And so by September 2022, it sounds like it's going to be like a well old machine kind of thing. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Whoever this is for and however it applies. I didn't hear what sector of the workspace this is. You only, you know, you're showing out anybody else, but this really is a beautiful message, whoever this is for, but it is specifically in your workspace. If this resonates for you, Pisces, I'm not saying you are a position of high authority, but I feel for a lot of you guys, you probably are. If this message resonates with you, if you're not though, your voice matters in your workspace. I'll tell you that. However, that applies. September of 2022, a child is due, connected to a Pisces. Okay, I heard it's September of 2022, a child is due, connected to a Pisces. So, I feel you could either be pregnant currently, Pisces, and you're due in September of 2022, which is four months away, um, or you have impregnated somebody, Pisces, and your person you have impregnated, whether it's your partner or not, is due in September of 2022, or you are connected to someone that is impregnated and they are due September of 2022. However, that applies in one's life. It's some kind of pregnancy energy, whether you were, you were the one pregnant and due by September of 2022, you have impregnated somebody that's due by September of 2022, or you were connected to someone that is pregnant due, by September, uh, due in September of 2022, However, that applies. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. For one Pisces, a family member is about to really, really, really press your buttons in a huge way. You are about to go off on this person in a huge way, but they really need it, and you know this. Oh, my Lord. Ah, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my. Um, so if this resonates for you, it's family member energy. If this resonates for you, um, whoever this family member is and how they apply in your life, Pisces. I heard um, that um, they're pushing your buttons. It sounds like they're intentionally pushing your buttons. Um, I heard you're about to go off on them. Um, and, but I heard, you know, they intuitively, you know, they need it, need it. So it sounds like they are intentionally poking the bear. They're intentionally poking the bear. Now, you know, sometimes people hit nerves and poke the bear un unintentionally, um, seriously, but sometimes people do it intentionally too. Um, and that's the truth. Um, you know, and that's the truth. Whoever this is though. It's a family member, if this resonates for you, if this message applies, it is a family member. And they, I think you know this family member very well, is what I'm saying. I think you know them very well. And I think you know they are intentionally, you're highly intuitive who have this message applies for. And you know they are intentionally poking the bear. So, you know, they didn't meet, they didn't accidentally hit a nerve or accidentally poke the bear. They intentionally are poking the bear, i.e. you. And, um, you know this and you're about to go off on them, but I heard you know they need it. So it sounds like they need to be put in check. It sounds like they're being arrogant and boastful towards you um, in some shape, form, or fashion, intentionally poking the bear energy and you're about to put them in their place. If that resonates for you. It is a family member if that resonates. He has been doing this all day. You're reading. Just saying. I have tons of confirmations from my fat boy kitty. Just saying. Come on, buddy. Come on. Look, he's in here. Come on. He's probably looking for um, this one. Uh, just to tell you guys for a minute and then we'll continue in the reading. I lost him for a, a few days. I lost him for a few days. It was very scary. But um, one of our neighbors today helped us find him and he's back home safe. Um, it scared all of us um, and it scared little fat boy too. Um, I didn't say anything on the channel, um, you know, because I was trying to find him. But um, but he's home safe, thank goodness. See, look, look at them. Their bond is so, I love it. All right, let me see if I hear anything else.
Okay, I didn't. I didn't. A Pisces thought one person was very, very, very egotistical in the past. But they are starting to realize they are not now. Viewpoint has started to change and will continue to change with this person. F feminine energy. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so if that message applies for you, Pisces, I heard... Um, you can be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling, but whoever you're dealing with here is a femme energy. I heard you thought this femme energy, whoever this person is and how they apply in your life, um, was very arrogant and boastful and egotistical, egotistical, basically. So you thought their head was full of my eye and you thought they thought they were the best things to slice cheese and they probably walked around like their shit didn't smell. Um, you thought that about this person. You thought... This person thought that about themselves, basically, that they were just the best thing to slice cheese and blazy, blazy, blazy. But I heard you've already started to realize that they're not like that. And I heard that your viewpoint is going to continue to change on them, too. So it sounds like you already know this person is not like that. It sounds like you have been around them in the universe in some shape, form, or fashion already. And it sounds like you're going to continue to be around them. And you're, um, you're realizing that they're not like that. It sounds like maybe somebody told you um behind the scenes that they were like that but when you got around them in the 3d you realize they were not like that um and that's what has changed your viewpoint and i heard your view viewpoint is going to continue to change um it sounds like through series of chain of events they're going to be created between you and this feminine energy whoever this person is in your life and how they apply so that's a good one actually okay so strength Exercising is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. Build up the endurance. Well, that's a good one. Holy crap. I heard exercising is about to become very significant in a Pisces life, building up the endurance. So that could be the reclaim your power too. I think you're about to reclaim your personal power. I think you're about to um, have some desire, drive, and motivation to exercise. Um, now you could be 120 pounds or you could be 250 pounds. I mean, I used to be 250 pounds for anybody doesn't know. I used to be 200 freaking 50 pounds. Um, I lost about 110 pounds and then I've gained about 20 of it back. I maintained, gained about 20 of it back over a course of about eight years or so. Um, but I'm in the process of trying to lose the 20 pounds now. But so I've been there is what I'm trying to say. I've been there. Um. I hate exercising, but I know it's good for me um, and good for my health. Um, and I think another one of you guys is realizing this. Um, I think you're about to start incorporating. You either already have incorporated exercise into your life or you're about to, um, to build up your endurance. So I'm thinking cardio. I'm thinking cardio here. And uh, maybe strength, strength training, maybe for some. However, that applies in one's life. But um Definite exercising energy here, whatever it is. Um, I'm feeling cardio or strength training, but only you know your story, not anybody else. But I think you're about to reclaim your power. Um, I think this is your personal power with your body um, and you're in a positive relationship with your body is what I'm feeling. Um, you're going to be taking on Leo energy and doing this, um, whoever you are and however this applies. You could have Leo in your chart or... Um, or just be taking on Leo energy. There's about to be a significant death in a Pisces life soon. One you are expecting this death. One you are not. About to be very emotional over this death. One it is involving a car accident. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, my condolences to whoever this is for. I just want to say that. Uh, I am so sorry. 
Um, it sounds like upcoming um, death energy. It doesn't sound like it's you, obviously, it's somebody you're connected to. But um, for one of you guys, it sounds like you're expecting this death. So it sounds like, um, you know, it's, it sounds like, you know, it's coming. You know, it's coming. I don't know if they're a hospice patient or um, I think they might be hospice or just um, long-term care and their health is so declined so badly that everybody knows, knows it's coming, how that resonates. Um, or um or something of that nature um how that applies in one's life um but one you do not expect the death um and i heard a significant motor vehicle accident so i think the one you don't expect if that message applies for you i think that's the motor vehicle accident energy <clears throat> for whoever that uh, applies for heard you can be very emotional over the death um whichever one that applies to you whether it's the one you're expecting or the one you're not um you're gonna have to have a lot of strength um, Leo S type energy to um, emotionally get over this death. I think it's somebody that is close to you or used to be close to you or you care for and um, for a lot, whoever this person is and how they apply. Patience. A particular Pisces is really learning the art of patience. Not a patient person, but it's getting better. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. That's a good one too, Pisces. So whoever you are, you aren't a patient person, I heard. You aren't a patient person if this message applies for you. You're not a patient person, uh, but you're learning the art of patience. Um, I heard you know you know it's getting it's getting better. So it sounds like it's improving. It sounds like you've been doing self care, healing work, shadow work on yourself to improve your um to improve yourself um, because you're not a patient person. So when things don't automatically come into you, I think it pisses you off. Or when things don't automatically happen the way you want them to happen, it pisses you off. And so you're learning the art of patience, the learn learning the art of flow energy basically um and trust me i'm the same way i'm the same way but i have learned over years that you know things don't always happen the way um we want them to and that's just the truth so um i've had to learn because i'm not a patient person either just let everybody know i am not a patient person either nay 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 not at all but i have really done a lot of healing and shadow work on myself with the patience aspect too excuse me um because i'm not a patient person i know i'm not so whoever this is for whatever piscean this is for i understand that is what i'm saying because i've had to do this exact same thing inside myself i've had to go inside myself do healing and shadow work inside myself with the same exact aspect so um whoever you are and have the supplies i'm proud of you because i've had to do the exact same thing i'm not a patient person either i'm not i, I like things the way i like them and i like things to go the exact, a certain way um, but, you know, it's life and we all know things don't happen the way we always want them to happen every single time. And that's just the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. This is a pretty good one, Pisces. A Pisces is about to make a very significant phone call to, so phone call soon. Some to a sister, some to a boss, some to their mortgage company soon. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. If this resonates for you, Pisces, I heard you're about to make a very significant phone call soon. Some of you guys to your boss, some to your sister, some to your mortgage company soon. Maybe um, that is incorporating patience energy, possibly for some, or the strength energy. Maybe you're about to have strength and pay, um, strength or strength and patience um, in making this phone call. Some to your sister, some to your mortgage company, some to your boss. It sounds like you are about to initiate this phone call to your boss, sister, or mortgage company. However, that applies in your life. For some of you guys, one of those messages could resonate for some two plus, for some maybe none. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. 
And for one Pisces, they're about to call their landlord and tell them they want to move out. Okay, and for one Pisces, they're about to call their landlord and tell them they want to move out. So there's actually four phone calls in here. So how this applies in your life, whoever you are and how this applies. One of you guys, you're about to make a, you're initiating the phone calls in all four of these situations if this resonates for you. One, you're going to initiate it to your sister. One, you're going to initiate it to your boss. One, you're going to initiate it to your mortgage company. So you have a mortgage on property or a home or land or, or um, vehicle or something. Uh, well, mortgage wouldn't be a vehicle. Um, it'd be a property, a home or land, um, property, land, home or homes, however that resonates. And one, you're about to initiate a phone call to your landlord, I heard, and um, say you want to move out. So only you know your story, not anybody else. Uh, maybe you've had patience with the landlord in situation four. I'm feeling maybe you've had patience with the landlord in the past. There's been issue or issues and you realize you're unhappy and you just you want to move out, possibly. And you're about to have strength to do it with situation four over here. However, that resonates and applies on one's life. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.